Hey guys, Jake here. Just uh, out on predator duty again this morning. I'm losing uh, some chickens lately, so I see them. We'll eliminate the problem. But as I was sitting here, I thought I would just uh, take a note from uh, Arkansas Living, otherwise known. Y'all hear that? That's a chicken warning call. But uh, Arkansas Living, otherwise known as Rusty Bottoms, and do a little uh, randomly. Lots of stuff going on, lots of thoughts, lots of talk, lots of chatter, lots of BS. And I'm liable to go everywhere with this video, guys. Again, just a just a chit chat and talk. A lot of new people on the channel, and I hope y'all come along for the right reasons. We're not about uh, sugarcoating things or. Uh, hits or likes or views we just kind of tell it how we see it and uh you know do the things which you know brings up one topic i always think about here on youtube and how they want to categorize everybody and get everybody split up you know the great divide and just, uh, you know, watching YouTube in general, the stuff that, that comes across the feeds and the things that people do and the amount of people that are just totally unaware of what's going on or really just don't care. I mean, uh, <laughs> you, you don't need to look any further than YouTube to see it. I mean, the things that these people do out there to get likes and hits and money and paid and greed is simply amazing and it's really no different uh in the homesteading uh, prepping community i mean there again they want to divide us and, and group us in groups and i really don't think i fit any of those categories i watch so many different things and ideas and viewpoints Nobody really knows what's true anymore. Nobody knows what's going on. I think uh, old Hillary probably said it best. At this point, what difference does it make? I know a lot of you out there still got some kind of feeling that somebody's going to come along and save the ship and steer us on the right track. Well, for those of us that uh, have been privy to what's going on for a long time, that's just all part of the game and the cycle to us. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having hope that somebody's going to come in and change it, but I would really like some feedback in the comments as to how y'all think uh, one individual person or a mass amount of people is going to change it as far as, you know, the government is concerned and your vote, uh, what they do and how they run things. I mean, uh, you have to be a complete idiot, blind, and... Uh, I've lived under a rock somewhere for the last uh, 15 years. If you don't see what's going on, and that's pretty blunt, but honestly, that's just the way it is. The stupidity that not only is in this world today, but that actually runs this world is amazing. The things that people do, the things that people have done, the endless amount of corruption, distrust, thievery, 
blatant crime. It's just overwhelming at this point. I mean, uh, <laughs> please leave a comment and let me know how you think the government is going to pull us out of this. And if you don't realize how bad it is, again, you know, I don't know that there's any hope for you. It just amazes me. I mean, <laughs> I remember the good old days when I was a younger guy. I mean, even when I started, you know, becoming aware of what was happening. That was 20, it was the year 2000, Y2K. I don't mind telling you, 23 years ago, almost 24 years ago. The better part of half of my life has been spent doing this. Y'all see my videos. Maybe not here on this place, but in some subsequent form. I've been aware that, you know, we live in a police state. They don't have your best interest in mind. The government is not here to protect you. They have their own agendas at play, and they are working those to the fullest extent that they can. All of this stuff going on that you see is all planned and part of it. Uh, whether or not everyone around the world is involved or not, I can't tell you. I can't answer it. But I can tell you they are divided as far as you are either with the program or you are without the program. You're either with them or against them. And that is, you know, as far as the world is concerned, the big picture here. Everybody's talking about bricks, you know, and oh, they got two weeks and it's going to be a currency and it's going to be back by gold. You know, if, you're, if you were aware of the situation, you would know they've been working on that for 20 years. Much like the Ukraine war, you know, it's the big hot topic going on. You know, amazing, I can't you know, show them cleaning my firearm here on YouTube, but they want to show the trench warfare over there in Ukraine. I mean, that war has been going on for years and years and years, guys. Everything that you see today has been going on for years and years and years and years. This new movie that just came out about the child trafficking deal. You know, it's, it's good. They're shining a light on it. The light is this big in a world of deception, evil, and corruption. And what are these, what's, what's going to happen because of this movie? Absolutely nothing. They have been trafficking people and children since time began. And it will continue. People are not going to stop. Where there is a demand, there will be a supply. And yes, it's a good thing they fight it. More power to them. But the whole thing needs a cleansing. Whether you go down the rabbit holes that the government is involved or not, it makes no difference to me. I see the bigger picture for what it is. You can bang on the police here in the U.S. all that you want. Is it going to do any good? Probably not. The unions are far too connected, and they will always be protected. But you still have that freedom and right to do as you wish. I see the bigger picture. Are the police here a problem? Sure. When the situation gets bad enough and they are defunded enough and the police here have had enough and things go awry, which they will, who do you think the federal government is going to call in to police things? Do you think it's going to be the military? So you're saying that you think your own government will deploy its military against you to help you to provide security. You think they would call in the UN? You know, the old blue helmets? Who's to say whether they will or they won't? If they could, would they? How tyrannical do you think the UN troops would be compared to our police? 
I know, I know. All of you Patriot keyboard warriors out there. Oh, well, those are just blue targets. Bullshit. If you were going to stand up and do anything, you would have done it by now. And that's just the thing. Nobody is going to stand up, guys. It is corrupt from the top down and has been for a long time. And there's going to be nobody that's going to come in and save the ship. It is too far gone. The sooner that you realize that, the better off that you will be. Because you can focus on what needs to be taken care of. And there are no excuses. If you live in the city, you pay rent and you have bills where you are. There is no reason that you can't move to the country and start your own homestead place and be independent and live as free as you possibly can. I don't have the money, I don't have this, I can't do that, I'm old, I'm blah, I'm disabled, blah, blah, blah. You are only as limited as you allow yourself to be. Not everybody can afford a $100,000 car. There are many places to live cheaper. It's a matter of work and finding them. It's a matter of putting in the work and effort and getting it done. You can comply and go along with the system. It makes no difference to me. I don't even really consider myself a prepper or a homesteader for that matter. I'm just a guy that sees the problems in the world and is trying to figure out what is the best route for my family in the future. Owning some property and being self-reliant, being able to grow some of your own food, make your own power, produce your own water. Uh, all of those things I think are gonna be very important in the future. I don't think the world is gonna end I'm not a doomsday prepper. I do think the world will continue. Now, there are going to be some very major, significant changes along the way. But the world won't end. You can comply and go along with it. You can be the resistance and not. The machine cares not. It will roll right on without you. Because the globalists have us where they want us. A global economy. And they are fixing to squeeze the life out of it. Everything that you've seen up to this point is only the beginning. It hasn't gotten bad yet at all. You still have some time to prepare. I would suggest you do so. First, by obtaining the means to take care of yourself. You can call it off-grid, you can call it a homesteading, you can call it prepping, you can call it anything that you want. But you better get your ass somewhere where you can grow some food, defend yourself against whatever, whoever, however, whenever, or wherever. Those things are going to be important. I said it before and I'll say it again for those of you that stuck around, let me know. If, uh, if I'm right or wrong, but today is absolutely the best that it's going to be. Every day gets a little bit worse, and we all see it in the news. It's happening right in front of your face. Every day gets a little bit worse. So today is as good as it's going to get, folks. Now you can sit around and think that God is going to take care of it all and Jesus is going to save you and the government will take care of it and none of this is going to happen. It's all conspiracy theory and life is just peachy and we're living the dream. You can take any of those options that you want. But I can assure you, it is not going to be a pleasurable ride. You can prepare. You can sit by and watch. You can do anything you want. But, every day, folks, every day the wheels turn a little further. So do what you can. Uh, that's just my little chit-chat this morning. Be aware. 
Be prepared. Stay safe out there and do your things. It ain't going to get no better, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks to uh, everybody that stops by. Hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel. We're just trying to spread the word over here. Ain't trying to sell you nothing. Thanks, guys. Y'all stay safe.